it's the sims they don't really care if they don't care guess who else don't care I me mean, i don't care hi friends hope you're doing swell hello friends so you know that i am always down for a good tiny home build or doing a challenge and recently i've been doing james turner's like tiny home like generator challenge and it's been so much fun but a lot of you all have also been commenting on those videos that i should try plumbellas i feel like i've done it like once before a long time ago and it made me rage quit so we're hoping i'm hoping that that doesn't happen today but i'm finally doing it let's go ahead and do plum bella's evil shell challenge now let me pull it up i think you can see it on my screen right now but let's go ahead and randomize it three times and that'll decide what we're going to build for today two three okay the building style of your house is maximalist your color theme is blue yellow and brown it will have two floors and four rooms your budget is 67,391 simoleons exactly it has one sim my disadvantage is that you must build it from the roof down you must include a skylight or glass roof and a fountain of mirth good luck babe xo x Oh, okay. Now, I was not preparing it for it to be this hard. So let me go ahead and take a picture of it. Oh my gosh. I'm already regretting it, you know? I'm already feeling like I don't wanna do it, but we're gonna thug it out, we're gonna do it. So let's go ahead, it needs to be maximalist. Should I just build it over in Willow Creek, I'm guessing? Let's just do, shoot, I feel like I need to create a sim so we can have the exact amount. So girly, you are going to be it, Anastasia Tomlin, and you are athletic. And if you want to know, Anastasia is socially awkward. She's loyal, but she's also me. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and build girly. Okay, so let me go ahead and turn my cheats on. And our money has to be 67, what is that? 67,391 simoleons oh my gosh it, it has to be built from the the roof down i don't know how to do that yo if it has to be built from the roof down it needs to be two floors four rooms okay i'm gonna have to put a platform down and then put another platform on top because then that'll allow for me to actually put a roof on and i have no idea what a maximalist house looks like so so I need to I need to look up some on Pinterest really quickly. Okay, so I'm not seeing like a lot of things, but one of them that really caught my attention was this house and I'll have it on the screen. That's what came up from maximalist style house. So I think I'm gonna try to do that. And then also the roofing is fairly easy as well. So that is uh, beneficial from, for me since I have to do it from the roof down. So we're gonna move all of this back. Okay, hold on, hold on. I feel like I need to like scope out the size and it might just be like a plain box, <laughs> something like that. Okay, and then I can bring this just over. Cause the house is pretty plain like this. I don't know if I just lucked out, but that's what it's looking like. So roof down, roof down. We're just gonna draw some walls. Oh, I have to bring the roof over some. Oh, well maybe I'll just put it this way. Yeah, okay. Go down. Can I just copy that and put it on this floor? <gasps> okay, we can make this work. And then I can bring this in some. Okay, that's technically building it from the roof down. It has to be maximalist. So this picture, it has like these big like windows it has a huge doorstep on the side and it has some really pretty like funky wallpaper and i think this is going to be perfect because we just recently got some new wallpaper in the love struck pack so i'm actually going to pull this all the way up hear me out i'm i'm figuring it out with you um love struck what if we turn this how close can i get it oh like right there perfect and I might move it. Let's move this over one more. Yeah. Okay. Now it needs to be funky and patterned, but on the reference picture, this is black. 
So I'm wondering if I should just do, ooh, that's kind of expensive. What if we do these base game ones, like that black, and then we do some just base game black railing or horse ranch, which honestly doesn't look bad. Okay, and then we can have some type of brown door. Colors, dark brown, light brown, because if you remember as well, the colors for the house has to be blue, yellow, and brown, which actually works out pretty perfectly. So I might change this to be like a brown so we fit those requirements. So before we run out of money, let me fountain of mirth is what I have to include. Girl, why aren't you placing? Do I have to place on like a table or something? We got that covered. And I need a skylight or a glass roof and a fountain of mirth. Why don't we just do a glass roof on this house? <laughs> oh, this is so ugly. What if we do that? And it needs to be, maybe we can do that color because that kind of looks brown. Okay, so we got the skylight, or we got the glass roof, we got the fountain of mirth. We build it from the roof down. We have one sim, we have the budget, it's two floors. Let's go ahead and do these four rooms. Now I'm just gonna put some saucer lights because I have to be conscious of the money as well. Let's just put, just some saucer lights down right there. I'm gonna go ahead and copy these stairs. We're just gonna stick them back there because it has to be four, four rooms. Okay, so you walk in, maybe we can have a bedroom back there, a bathroom, and up here, maybe we can have another big bedroom, like a bathroom off the back. Okay, so we got two floors, four rooms, maximalist, blue, yellow, and brown. Oh, you have to be, I'm like really proud of myself because I could have easily just turned this off and you wouldn't even know. You wouldn't even know that I started it. So that's that's a win in my book for me to keep, keep building this damn house. Okay, maximalist, maximalist. What if we just do these season doors? And then we do a bathroom like right there. And then that gives us that wall for us to actually have uh, like some cabinetry down, do some trim. Is there any better lighting? That's a little better, not much better though. Okay, I feel like we need to figure out the, the wallpaper situation. And that inspo picture, they had such pretty wallpaper. And I think I'm gonna look by love struck. Show me, yeah, okay. It needs to be blue, yellow, or brown. And this is yellow and blue. And that kind of saves us some money because it has like a trim on it. And I'm thinking at the top, we need to look for some blues. So let's go to maybe blue or yellow. I need to find one that kind of matches. Oh, I don't like that. Should we do like stone or something? Oh, okay, hold on. What if we use like that decorative one for the center and then we use this on the bottom? And I'm trying to think as well, like, what's gonna be like our landscaping situation. Cause it said the themes just have to be that color. So I'm guessing like we can use any type of landscaping. So maybe I'll go ahead and do that. Like the montage that I always do in my build videos. I'm gonna go ahead and do the landscaping. I need to be conscious of the budget as well cause the house is kind of big. So let me go ahead and do the landscaping and then we'll come back and then we'll start furnishing the indoors. Okay, you guys, let me give you a little bit of a tour. This is the outdoor. So I kind of went crazy with the maximalist because from my reference pictures that I saw, it was just like a lot of stuff everywhere. Lots of patterns, just like a, like a lot of things that kind of catch your eye. So with that, I interpreted it as doing a lot of different like activities, a lot of different vines and plants, just making it a little bit more woodsy. So this is like my interpretation of maximalist. So we have a bunch of ivy, some trellises, and then we have some huge trees all the way around. Up front, we have patchy, we have bees as well as, I think those are both bees and bugs. We have some places where they can actually garden. We have 
have a little bird feeder and a wind chime. We have some of this romantic garden stuff as well because I don't really get to use it. I thought it'd be perfect for this build. A jungle gym, somewhere for them to woohoo and just hang out, read, have a picnic and grill and another place for them to eat. And then we have another little area right there for them to kind of just have some more greenery in life. It's a maximum style on the outdoors. We use blue, yellow, and brown, two floors, four rooms. Budget is still looking good. Um, we're currently at 41,000 simoleons, but our budget was 67,391 simoleons. One sim, we built it from the roof down. We included the glass roof and then the fountain. So I think we're good to go indoors. Now, the only thing is that with cottage living and some of these vines, you can kind of see them on the inside, but that doesn't bother me too much. So I'm not really like concerned about that. But I do want to go ahead and use some just dark brown flooring, something that's kind of rich and reminds me of woodsy. And I'm thinking the best bet might actually be like horse ranch or cottage living. So I think I might do horse ranch. We have that both downstairs and upstairs. And I low key like that roof. It's a little different, but I don't mind it one bit. And then for bathrooms, I think I'm gonna take this filter off and we have quite a bit of blue outdoors. So I think I'm gonna use some yellow, yellow flooring for inside these bathrooms. So we have that one right there and then a huge one up there. Now I'm noticing that this window, pull it in to right there. Okay, so we have to use this somewhere and I'm honestly thinking maybe we just use it out here. That fits the vibes. I wonder is there a different color? Maybe we just do this brown since that's one of the requirements and we can maybe move it indoors as well once we kind of figure out the layout some more. I am going to pull this over just one so we have a little bit more room and we have those double windows right there there oh kitchen wise i don't luckily i don't have to be too conscious about the budget just yet i think i'm gonna take those two off and let's do some brown huh i kind of want something more wooden and even like these they're very patterned from um room of magic and those might actually work so let's go ahead and put a corner piece down two pieces right there thinking maybe we have a stove right here we can use that one from Room of, uh, I was gonna say that one from Room of Magic, but I kind of like this base game one instead. And then for the fridge, we could use this one from Room of Magic, which isn't bad. And I don't know if my eyes are just playing tricks on me, but this does not look like medium wall height. It definitely looks like tall wall height, but that is, that is okay. We're gonna give our Sims quite a bit of room to actually cook. Cause I feel like I'm always building tiny houses. So this is like, it's not a big house, but it's bigger than what I typically do. So I'm gonna say medium size, medium size house. And we'll do something like that. Let's go ahead and get a nice sink. Maybe this one. Cause I kind of like the fixtures on that. And I don't know if Room of Magic, no, they didn't. Dang it. I was hoping that it came with like some shelving. So I might go to surfaces, yeah. And then let's go by light and dark brown. Oh, I do want to use some of this stuff. So we're going to pop that over there. Ooh, we do have a cabinet. Let's, <laughs> let's use that as well. Okay. Maybe like some of this stuff. It's a little bit of a different vibe, but I think we can make it work. We have like a little coffee corner over there. Ooh, or this. I'm, th these trellises are in my way. Maybe I get rid of that. Can I size this down when I can and put that like right there? I want to see if we can find any cabinets that might match a little bit. Oh, those kind of match. Hold on. And that is from Spa Day, which I need to build a spa soon because I have not done that yet. I feel like that would be a lot of fun. Let's do a small cabinet right there. And then maybe just on this side, we do all, oops, small cabinets. I like that. It didn't match to a T, but I think it still looks quite cute. I'm going to take these filters off because I do want to see about adding some little clutter. So instead of having that T rack up, I'm going to just have that right there. We can use some of this clutter from Parenthood. Gosh, and these trellises are in my way. I kind of want to all place it. I might all place some of that stuff. We do need one clear one so they can cook. So we'll maybe I'll get rid of the chicken and we can put this tea set instead. So I'm just gonna bring everything out because it 
helps with like all placing. So I'm gonna put that back there and maybe we put the utensils right there and then we just put the tea set right there. And I was kind of also thinking something else that we can put, maybe a fruit bowl. There was a new one that came with Love Struck. So look for that one. Yeah, that's way prettier and it's still funky. Like we kind of want everything to be. I think I'm gonna all place that over there. Yeah, let's pull this up cute okay i don't mind that and i want to see about getting actually some yellow backsplash let me look at tiles and i don't care if everything's not matching because that's kind of what the maximalist style is everything's kind of mix match so we'll use that and then maybe on these like walls over here we can do something a little bit more plain okay so i did pull out quite a bit of things but i think i'm gonna take that away for right now because it's distracting me but I'm gonna do the bathrooms the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that tile upstairs and downstairs. Now I wanna look for some lighting too. Let's go ahead and do blue and yellow because we might find something that looks pretty decent, like a nice chandelier. Those could work. Ooh, these from Lovestruck. And the saucer lights might suffice for like that room. Maybe center that, center that, center that. And then I'm gonna get another little saucer light. So I'm gonna take these tags off because they don't really need to be yellow. You can't, you can't see them. I'm gonna put a saucer light right over here and one in the bathroom and then one in that room. Cute. Okay, now we got 30,000. So we still got quite a bit of money to work with. So let's take some more time with the kitchen. Is that supposed to be a wastebasket? I don't think I would want that wastebasket. I'm gonna use this one rug from Snow Escape that I love. This might not be the best rug to have in the kitchen. I think it's really pretty. And so with us having like this little area over here, I'm thinking also we can do a little dining room set. And we got a new one with Love Struck. So I think I wanna use something kind of small and petite. I don't know, every time I say small and petite, it makes me like laugh so hard. Don't know why, but let's see. Those chairs could possibly work. We can get a cute little flower on top. We got a few. I kind of want to look at Blooming Rooms kit. They're kind of low though. I think that might be because of the foundation. So we'll say we did. That's humongous. Kind of want like a little area. Okay, we do need some pictures. So let's go ahead and put a picture right there. And this is clipping. So I might just get rid of it. This one of the vines that gives us $100 too. So win-win. Those portraits are really pretty and that is too. It's just a little bit too big and I don't think I want to size down anything. So maybe we just use this one from this, where is it from? Dream Home Decorator. I'm going to center this a little bit more. Cute. Okay, now I'm trying to think. I'm gonna look at cats and dogs and horse ranch. Surfaces, yeah. I don't want like a like a bench, yeah, where you can sit down and put your shoes on. That's right at the front door. So I have to play around with this layout. Maybe we do that like right there. And we put the flowers like right over there. And that's like somewhere you can put your little shoes. So I'm gonna search for shoes. Cause yeah, they like slot. And then maybe let's search for a bag. I wish these weren't like rolled. So we're just gonna put like some little sports. Just stick that right there. Put some clothes in there. So like some little jackets. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this and we're gonna put the chore wheel up. Yeah, I like that. Cute. Okay, so we got a little, it's just a little house. I might add one more chair. So maybe it's like a parent and a kid, but I like how small and intimate this kind of area is. I feel like we do need to have somewhere for them to sit and like watch TV. So maybe instead we can have like a little TV situation right here. Let's look through. Oh, that kind of works. We need something small. Oh, that works too. Hmm. I want a couch that looks comfy. Can we use one of these from high school years? And that yellow swatch. Oh, and then we can use my basket of dreams from Eco Lifestyle. And honestly, how much is this? 600? No, because Eco Lifestyle has stuff way cheaper than that. So we're gonna use Eco Lifestyle. Show me everything. Where's my basket? There it goes. Oh, this is the best basket. I'm gonna put the little backpack over, like over here. What else can we add? I wanna add a TV, I know for sure, but maybe we can size. Oh, that's too big. Okay, hold on. 
I'm getting ahead of myself. I need to add a plant that's not gonna clip and that one does clip. So maybe let's look for a table first. Okay, I kind of like this one. Move this, move this trash can over there. Get a nice TV to go on the wall. And then I was wondering if we could add maybe a bookshelf over here. It kind of breaks up the room some. I want something that's tall like that. Ooh, not that tall. Cause I haven't used that yet and that kind of works as a divider for the room. Yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to Parenthood because then we can add some of that like clutter. Like we can add a little journal, maybe some, oh, uh, not the toys, not the trash either. I'm thinking we add some of these little pictures though. A little catalog for you to find out what's playing. Add a flower. A little toy stick it under there yeah maybe that and anything else from parenthood maybe not now with maximalist the patterns are all different so we're gonna look for a funky rug to go in here and we got some options i'm kind of thinking strangerville though because that might be the best bet where are you strangerville yeah something very funky and patterned and i'm gonna look at the swatches too for the requirement I'm gonna get rid of that painting because I wanna do a different one that's a little bit more funky. And I like these from Love Struck, so I'm gonna add one of those. It didn't come in another thing, so we'll just keep that swatch. And then I wanna add another little funky rug, maybe up here. And these ones from Cats and Dog will work. Cute, okay. Now, since it is maximalist, I am going to change the, the back background, backdrop. We use that outside, maybe we can use one of these and then maybe on this wall we can carry that around as well i'm happy with the way that turned out i don't think i like that picture it was only five bucks dang let's look for maybe a yellow and blue picture how much is this 400 maybe we just use these again how much are these though hold on 325 and size it up so it's still that funky print going on but i think that's good enough for the the living room the kitchen and the little hangout room Alrighty, so let's get started with this bedroom now i think i want for this to be like the kids bedroom and we have the parents upstairs just because i want them to be able to have like an ensuite so we are going to look for a cute little funky bed let me turn these tabs off and I might go to the regular ones because I feel like they have a little bit better of a selection. Ooh, that blue bed, bam. So I kind of like that one. Let's do that and we do desperately need some curtains. So we're just gonna use those two because they're in that like cream color or maybe we just do yellow, like plain yellow. Okay, we need a little dresser. Um, I kind of wanna use this one from Base Game. And I do want to add some toys. I like this cardboard one. So let's use that. Then we're going to come close and add a bunch of crazy looking toys. Maybe do brown and blue. Hits all the requirements. We do need a defender light. And if you don't have snow escape, those beds actually come with defender lights, which is a pro tip. But if you don't have snow escape, you have to use the base game defender light so your kiddos don't get uh, nightmares. There it goes, and we'll do it in blue. Gonna size it down one, perfect. Now I'm gonna go back over here because I wanna get a little side table. And maybe this, uh, kinda like this one. Let's do that. And I'm thinking they'll have like little crafts and stuff everywhere. Perhaps, also, maybe they have some little books. I'm gonna, Move this over just a little bit. And I wanna change the swatch. Cute, okay. Now we can stick a Blarfy. I'm just kinda of going randomly because like I said, the stuff I saw with Maximalist is just things everywhere. <laughs> Clutter everywhere, colors everywhere. They don't really have like a, a matching rhyme or reason. So we're just gonna do all of our fun stuff, our favorite things we like. So we're gonna use that desk. Let's use one of these cute little chairs and maybe we'll get them a tablet, but I might add some type of like wall light. And what more tacky than that? <laughs> I love it. And then let's do yellow and blue. Cute. Okay, now we need to find some wallpaper. I don't think I'm gonna do something crazy with the wallpaper just because the room is very busy as it is. So let's go for yellow and blue. Kind of like that. And then let's find a rug. 
could do something like that and we can get lots and lots of pictures up on the walls solar system some sports race car some little trophies from one of those and i think i'm just gonna add some of these little decals cute there we have it that is our kids bedroom now let's go ahead and do the bathrooms like i said i'm trying to have a different mindset when it comes to bathrooms making it more enjoyable so we're just gonna take our time and we're gonna find some stuff that might work out the best now i'm thinking that's the perfect place to have a tub look at that you have like perfect lighting so we're gonna do a nice tub i might just use that one from dream home decorator and then we can do a sink, day toilet, add a little toothbrush, maybe put some little towels down there for our sim and some soap. And we do need a hand towel, so I'm gonna add that right there. And we do need regular towels too. So since it's maximalist, we can kind of go crazy with all of the decor. But I am gonna add like a little, some little robes. I wonder, can I size one of these down? Okay, I can. I'll just size that one down so it's like a baby robe some like little clutter and my my cabinet of dreams look at it it's so beautiful and we need some like little hand soap and we could probably put where is it like this little caddy thing which i never use so let's go ahead and use that instead of that cute okay now, I think last but not least, we do need a hamper, so I'm gonna stick that in there, but we need a mirror as well. Maybe a little anti-fatigue mat from Parenthood. Cute. Can we put some blinds up maybe? These are rounded. Oh, we can put those blinds up. There you have it. That is our little bathroom for down here. I'm gonna add one over there, a blind. And move this over. And then we can add another little blind as well. Okay, so we're at 18,000 simoleons, which is not bad at all. We're still doing pretty good with budget. I'm just gonna put this little hamper in there. Now I'm gonna do this upstairs bathroom on my own, but I am gonna furnish this little outdoors. And I know this is random, but we don't have anywhere for us to put like the laundry stuff. So I think I'm just gonna put it over here in the hallway it's the sims they don't really care if they don't care guess who else don't care I me mean, i don't care so we're gonna put a little put a little washer dryer combo over there yellow maybe we just stick can i delete those too because we can get some money back those are a hundred two hundred dollars so you come up you can do your laundry right there and maybe we can use my favorite boho little thing we have a little sitting area over here so you can like wait oops you can wait for your laundry to be done mm, that's probably all that we need really for the laundry maybe we can put like that little clutter right there but i think that's all that we're going to use for right there i am going to go downstairs and take some of this wallpaper okay cute now i'm going to do the bathroom as well as decorate this little landing room off camera and then we'll be back to do the last bedroom Alrighty, so this is what I came up with. So we have like our little laundry hangout area. And then you can't really tell because of the roofing, but I have this little area I'm trying to go in for you. We have a little area for them to like stream at home or work from home. And then also one of our Sims is like a knitter, they do fashion. And so they have their own little personal business at their house. So this is where they answer emails and fulfill orders. And you can also tell down below that they're teaching their little daughter how to knit as well. So maybe Maybe it's like a family business where she's trying to get her daughter interested so when she gets older they can do it together and then their bathroom it's pretty much the same as downstairs I had to kind of chill out a little bit because I was running out of money so I might add some more clutter after we do the bedroom but add is these cabinets from dream home decorators some clutter from parenthood as well as high school living or yeah high school living and then kind of the same old same old so let's go ahead and go to the bedroom because that is where we're gonna be, um, we need to make sure we have enough money for it. And I do wanna use one of the new wallpapers from Lovestruck. Now we have some of this pretty like, <laughs> I was like, ooh, we have some of this pretty like vines and stuff. 
I kind of want to use one of these again, but the only thing is that it has to be blue. We could do that all the way around. Even though we have it outdoors, we can still have it inside. And I am going to take that tag off because I feel like we can find a better looking bed for a little bit cheaper. So let's go by yellow. Let's just do all the filters and see what we can find that's a double bed that's a decent looking. Ooh, I kind of like this. Oh, where put the bed though? I'm gonna do something like, I kind of want them to have a side table. We could just keep it right in front of the window. And I think I'm gonna steal these because I really do like those curtains. I haven't used those just yet, but I think I'm gonna go by maybe light brown and brown to see what pops up that might look a little bit better for a side table. It needs to be one that slots too. <gasps> look at that, kinda love that. It's funky, it doesn't really match, but I like it. So let's go ahead and use that. I'm gonna scroll out some so I can use my tray of dreams. This is the one from Paranormal, yeah. And then this other little clutter item that I really like as well. It's already yellow. Maybe we'll do that one. And then we do yellow for that. Q, Q, Q. We're $6,000. So slowly dwindling away. But I do want to get a nice Chester drawer set. So maybe we use one of those. And honestly, they can probably do with like having a TV in their room. Because we have a TV. Well, no, we don't. We don't have a TV in our room. I was going to say. We used to have a TV in our room, but when we moved into our new house, we were like, we really don't need one. So we don't have one. But having a TV in your room and like just sleeping, like watching TV, but like knocked out, it's really nice. Miss it. Um, but I have my iPad and stuff now, so I just, I just use that. But I am going to add that. And then I want to add a really pretty plant. So I'm going to give them one of those. Maybe one of those new ones from the Love Struck pack. And our wallpaper is already pretty patterned, so I don't think I'm gonna add any pictures. But I do wanna add some of like these little clutter bits. So we add that. Maybe like a little drink tray. Just some stuff to give a little bit more personality. The last but not least, let's look for, I think I wanna look for a yellow rug. So I'm gonna just have the filter on yellow and I want something pretty funky that doesn't really match. Kind of like this one from Jungle Adventure. Big though. Yeah, it's an odd size. I wonder if I size, oops, shoot. If I size this down one. It's just like slightly too big. This one's always a good one, but I want it to be a little bit longer. We have this one from Horse Ranch. Size is down pretty well, so we could, we could do that cute so did just realize that i didn't put a fire alarm or anything so i want to make sure we give them some central air also a little smoke detector right above what else could we use we could clutter it up with like some more plants and stuff or clutter some stuff up here so let me go to the kids add a bunch of stuff all around and I'm thinking if this is like the creative space up here, maybe we can have somewhere as well for like our sim. Stick that right there and make a school project. We'll do that. <laughs> Ooh, and a little, a little lunch box. How cute. Okay, let me go back to Nifty. I want to see about perhaps getting some more little clutter items. So some detergent, some cleaning supplies. I think I want this to be downstairs, perhaps, like these herbs. Maybe like a runner? Like a, oh, we already have something right there. Okay. We'll leave that as is. I, I think I have to use all of the budget. So I'm trying to figure out like what else we can put up here. I'm gonna put some yoga mats. Is there any other stuff that came with Nifty Nitty? But if I do that and then I go, okay, we got $2,000. If I go to high school living, high school years, I haven't played the pack, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the name. I was thinking like one of these. I'm gonna get rid of those and maybe we just do two of these. So they're like styling clothes and stuff. Ooh, something a little bit more vibrant. Let's do that. And then I'm gonna take this off again because I wanna look for some shoes. I think I'm gonna just stick a bunch down here. Cause like I said, maybe she designs shoes and stuff. And then I'm gonna go by clutter. Oops, 
Then we can get some little boxes like for storage and it helps us with like money helps eat up some of this money okay we got 1000 okay now you can see it a little bit better since the the lighting has changed but i think i'm gonna add some more plants i might go by eco lifestyle show me everything this isn't like worth much it's only 65 but kind of like the way that looks so let's use that there I don't think I want to have that in their room, but they could probably withstand to have, not a yoga mat. What am I looking for? <laughs> I'm looking for some plants. I think I'm gonna just place some of these hanging plants kind of everywhere around the house. Well, only those two places, I guess. Okay, oh, we still have a little bit of money that we could use like to eat up. So I'm thinking, what if we just give them a dog? We can give them two. A little yellow one and blue one we can stick a bed in the kids room and we can stick a bigger one up here in like the hallway or something no we just get little toys everywhere because realistically you guys when you have animals you think you're trying to be neat they just pull out every single last toy <laughs> every single last toy that you can possibly imagine and it's okay and i'm gonna stick the little toy chest right there okay we're down to a thousand which is pretty good what else can we add we got add some of these outside but that's like killing the vibe a little bit how much is this 200 that's not worth enough what if i pull this out and then we get like a, a tea maker a luxe drink tray i'm gonna get like a coffee pot or something i don't want it to be functional i don't really care okay it's like girl it has to be functional we got a thousand dollars that we need to use so I am gonna get them another trash can. What else? So I'm gonna go around and add some more landscaping until we get very close to the end of the budget and then we'll come back in and do a final tour. Alrighty, so I used all of the budget that I could possibly do and we have two simoleons left, but there's nothing legit. I just looked through that I can get for two simoleons. So it is what it is, but I am obsessed with the way it turned out. I did go around and add some more of those low line like plants just to like eat up some of that budget but this is the outdoors looking really cute and then you go into the first floor you come in we have our cute little kitchen very decorative lots of different patterns and that's a lot what maximalist is from what i saw we got some pet bowls because we do have a pet a little clutter area for our sim like their kid maybe they have a curfew they play sports and then our sims are fashion designers and gamers i think that's what we're going to go with so it's a lot of different patterns trying to see what they want for their new line and then we have a cozy little place for them to watch movies together our little kids sim room i don't know if it's a kid or a teen but this is what their room turned out to be they have a tablet they have somewhere to journal somewhere to play play dress up and just have a, a nice time then we have some little things that they've made out here and then a painting a little modest bathroom for our sim down here and then we go upstairs and we have a laundry area where they can wash their clothes um, a place for the kid to be creative alongside their parents, the gaming system, also the where the sim actually does their fashion design, and then some mock clothing that they probably take over to, to the high school world for them to sell in the little shop. But they're designing clothes over there, their bathroom, and then also their bedroom with a little pet bed as well. But that was um, a challenge. It took me, let me see. OBS is saying it took me an hour and 40 minutes to do that, which wasn't that bad at all. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure it's fun things like give it a big old like and subscribe down below if you haven't already, as well as press that bell notification so you're notified each and every time that I post. And then also let me know any challenges or video ideas. I do look through them and I add them to my little notebook. So I just like slowly tick away. And if you have a suggestion, I more than likely will do it. It'll be a little later because I I have some videos that are coming out first but if you have a suggestion let me know i'm always down for a good challenge and until next time friends i hope you are doing swell and i will see you very soon bye